lessons come down on me. So today is uh, Tuesday, March 28th. And it's been a very busy day for me. I mean, it's just been... As you would say, the downloads and the uploads have been... As your astrologers, your real ones, you know what's going on. And they should tell you. As uh, Steve Judge. Steve, uh, but anyway... <clears throat> Priorities and money. Priorities and money. First off, by the way, th thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are my friends. Some of you, anyway. And for some of you who actually gave to gave to the birthday donation, I appreciate you. That it's never too late. Never too late, cause Mama be doing this on her own. I'm a real entrepreneur who literally has supported. I learned a lot in 2022 i've learned a lot you know in 66 six now 67 years i've learned a lot you can help people and 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 help people you can be right and right and right as rain but they will rue the day that you came because they always wanted to be number one at your expense yeah because i'm watching you because you're moving like really I'm watching anybody and anything and everything that moves. My my eyes, my eyes turn straight to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened though. But you know, I get, when I get in a certain mode, I either the wolf or the polar bear comes. Like, I get focused. Anyway, because uh, you know, you know, you know be watching people be watching people be stalking why why well i think we all know why didn't they stalk jesus didn't they stalk all the uh true prophets do you don't even know who the prophets were you do know that you know with between like elijah and uh, elisha that elisha was a, a woman the names are like that it's like male and female male, so the protege was just like how you thought like mary magdalene was a hoe and she was not and she was of royalty men mankind will tell you all kinds of lies to break you into their agenda and to con and control you and then when they feel like they can't control you they'll send your, their spies and many people fall by the wayside because it's a power struggle. It is definitely uh, it's, it's a power struggle. It's where the meek uh, is. is you're, you're fighting a heavy battle. It really is like Daniel in the lion's den. What you don't know, my friend, is that I can make the lions my friends. Maybe I control the lions. Maybe I don't control anyone. Maybe you don't control me. Maybe there's some lions who thought they had control of me and they did not. You need to control yourself first. Ego deaths are a horrible thing, especially when you don't see the problem is you. But anyway, priorities and money. Again, thank you to everybody. I couldn't thank each and every one uh, individually. But thank you all for those of you who wish me a happy birthday and sincerely meant it. Uh, the lines are still open. My cash app. Cash app is funny and flaky right now. Have you noticed that? A lot of things are flaky as far as like, I won't do WhatsApp. Somebody kept trying to get, tell me to do WhatsApp. And, we, and I saw the cap in that from jump. So all those apps, you got to watch those apps. And, uh, but if you still want to donate to my birthday, if you still want to donate to the mission, I actually have a real school, soul school cafe. I do that on my own. My affiliates don't pay me. I don't get advertisers because no one, no one, no one claims my playlist. I pick the music. I put together the show. I a one woman show. And I talked about how I've helped everybody. I've helped everybody with their businesses, with their startup businesses last year. Not a one helped me. Not a one bought anything from me. What is that saying about so-called family and friends? But uh, so here's your chance. So you can't. Time out. Someone needed attention. <sighs> Speaking of which, <clears throat> let's, okay. Get back to, okay, I got it. Get back to the subject. Get back to the subject. The subject is, let's talk about name changing and the cost of name changes. 
So this may come as a shock or should not. But I'm getting ready to talk about all these name changes that's going on at this. Good God, it's hot. It's, Jesus. Why I got that? I'm talking about some of these name changes. At, 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 allergy. <laughs> that's why I had to window. Uh, let's talk about these name changes at these military bases. Oh, Lordy. In my Octorian Saturn voice. The little Jupiter flare. Hashtag, we don't care. This is why it doesn't make sense. And why it's not a priority. Or why it shouldn't be a priority. So you're going to take money. We're already, in case you, you, you know what? If you can't tell that we're in a recession. And getting ready to be thrown right back in the depression. Which I don't know if we've never got a... The, the last two presidential elections have been a shit show. It was went from one circus to another. And I am fully, you know, I am fully calculating that this was all, the plan all along in some kind of way. You do know that sometimes the villain and the hero works together in certain type of games. Because, it, again, you can't have a villain. You don't... There's no need for a villain if you don't have a hero. And there's need for a hero if you don't have a villain. It works that way sometimes. If people, you know, need to keep each other in power because who is the hero going to fight if you don't have a villain that being said let's talk about the real men and women who serve and who fight real wars they train for this they study for this i don't know why you think people in the military are soft or stupid or i don't know what i don't some of you have no clue and, but you, but you always throw in, you, you throw darts at everything. And the military did this, military did that, military caused all the crime. And you don't look at like, it ain't the military that's doing crime around here. You keep pointing your fingers, but I'm looking at you like I, like I don't live here. So you might can tell somebody else, well, is there trans and they don't care, it's trans and money. Bitch, I grew up here. I was born in. I was doing so well. I was I was born on a base at Fort Bend in Georgia, but I grew up here, so I know Fayetteville, Vietnam, two six very well. Y'all need to sit the. F Y'all need to listen. I remember when it was better. I remember when we had better clubs. I remember when we actually had love. I remember when we had parks, you know, picnics at the park. I remember when we were the stuff. I remember we had concerts like crazy. You couldn't pay me to go to these lame concerts right now. I say no lame because it's always going to be the same thing. You got egotistical promoters who try to bring in. You move really damn close. Y'all are moving like really close. Am I like in a. No. Okay. Well, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You got people who, and, I, and you know, I'm not saying all, all promoters are crooked. And I know some friends, some of my friends are promoters. And they try to make the best that they can do. But the people that you end up dealing with, you find out these people be ripping off you. And we all know the crown is that the money. That, I don't even talk about that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the name changes like at Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg to Fort Liberty. Or changing all the bases around the country or whatever because you have Confederate names. <clears throat> now, reminding you, this is the militant shit talking. And I always find it funny how I am too black for some. And yet they say I'm the whitest black person they know. Pick a side and stay on it. Oh, but you can't. You flip flop. That's what you do. You flip-flop. Meanwhile, I keep it real. I keep it straight down the middle at all times. I come to you from the spiritual. I come from the, from the with the logic. I come from you with a very calculating, like I calculate this shit and I add up the math and put it all together. Like the number two fire engine. The fire truck. That's for someone. Number 22, the fire truck. Uh, thank you. Um... Uh, Like me living where I live at. Military used to live there. You have ex-military. You have retired military. You have you have some of everybody. You have some of everybody where I live at. You have the disenfranchised. You have poor ass people. You have crazy ass people. You got ratchet ass people. You got all kinds of people. 
where I live at. But you also have some ex military military affiliated people and you got some of the new men because these people are moving off a of base they're also forcing these people off a of base they forced some of these men and women off the housing because they did not fix up the house and they were living in moldy horrible 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 conditions on Fort Bragg, on Pope Air Force Base, horrible conditions. So everybody's moving. You're forcing everybody out. Everybody's transitioning. And you are hearing how the rent is going up. Eviction. Are you all reading the news? Are you all reading the news or are you waiting for your tarot readers or your astrology readers or your preachers or your so-called leaders to tell you, you know, what's going on? When you see the evictions are, are, are rising, the evictions are rising, the rent is rising, everything is rising but the money. Everything is rising but the salaries. Everything is rising but the consciousness. And the minute you start hearing about so much money going to the military and you want to blame the soldiers. Now, first and foremost, my daddy was never going to let me go into the army. You can do anything else but that. So I now understand why. Because look at me. Look at me. I would have stayed on KP. I would have been, I would, if full male jacket was a, a black woman, that Okay. Daddy said redirect that. That was, I would have never been, been a full metal jacket thing. But I don't be I don't be taking no stupid orders either. either. Ask the people who, who took me over when I was pledging for Zeta Phi Beta. Shit, you can you you can only go so far with me. Like I wish. I Stay on point. The money, the name change. You blame the military for getting all the money. The military is not getting the money. Check that. The soldiers aren't getting the money. It's just like pyramid schemes where the people at the top get the money, but all the workers underneath don't get it, and some don't get anything. Usually the ones who do the most, these soldiers do the most and get respected and paid the least. It bothers me severely when I see veteran and there ain't nothing I can do and I and I had to stop that because nothing I could do because I find myself in that situation too uh you helping homeless people then you end up being homeless so I can't help everybody that you know I need to die can you buy me that I can't do nothing because I've been there you know maybe not as much as you but at a certain point what got you there were you on drugs and you need to stop you know you stop need to stop doing drugs were you drinking too were you alcoholic you need to stop doing did you make some bad business deals did you make some bad choices did you get up with somebody that was bad for you are you making bad choices you got to change up your life right now more than ever don't look for jesus to save you when you need to be saving you because the government's not going to save you these politicians aren't going to save you these preachers damn sure not going to save you but and, and these entertainers are not going to save you everybody's trying to make money everybody's trying to make money and right now everybody seems to be trying to make money off the only one thing that's stable and that's the military but the thing that's not funny is that the military people are doing the most and they're getting the least and you putting all this attention on them and you're talking about anxiety 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 and when the shit hits the fan when there's tornadoes or there's hurricanes or the, even the firefighters even your EMT workers most of these people most of your emergency workers your law enforcement or whatever most of these people have had some type of military military training so the military is necessary hate it for you but law enforcement is necessary law enforcement is the problem is the problem the problem is the people in the motherfucking law enforcement you need to do i don't know why there's not uh psych evaluations on these people every year that's a step in the policy which you could do but you won't just like you're going to release one of the best chaplains and, 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 and therapist on Fort Bragg and you wonder why I'm pissed and I'm mad and I know he was because that was my part that was my buddy he was necessary I mean right now even my money is such that I can't even get you know because I've been doing things but I can't even get to you know the, the place like I want because I'm you know I'm doing some stuff this week but it's just really weird how the people who you steal from God damn, am I out in the middle of, why are y'all acting so, let me move for a second, I don't know if, what the hell, it's like, am I out in the middle of the road, it's like people are just driving, like I'm out in the street and I'm not, 
this is like giving me like you know this is giving me anxiety when people be rolling too close to me because you know i'm i've always been the type of person i swing first and ask later i did that that time they would break out in basketball fights and the basketball team come and grab me to get me out of the way and i'm swinging i'm almost hitting my own players because like don't roll up on me real fast hey. but uh no but what I'm saying is that you got so much going on and you guys really aren't thinking about the men and women. You're not thinking about them. Y'all know you don't care. You think they got it going, it's military. They got money. They got this. They got that. Listen, they're being put out of their houses too. Their rent and everything is going up too. They're going through severe things too. And they don't have anybody to talk to. Have you read my poem, I'm a Soldier? You need to read that over and over and over and over again. Because that came from the heart and came from experience. So when you talk about changing a name. Because, well, it has Confederate names and this and that. You know what? It's 2023. First off. I have never yet met a soldier yet that that really mattered. They're more, what matters to them is the treatment, not a freaking name. The treatment. Changing a name doesn't change anything. Changing a name is a glory publicity stunt. Changing the name is a diversion. Changing the name is putting that money into pockets of contractors who are in the pockets of the business leaders. I'm just, I'm just you know, I'm aware of everything right now everything it's putting money in the pocket of the people who are at the top but it means nothing to the people in the middle and at the bottom the main people if you are saying this is helping the, mil the men and the women in the military it is not I could think of so many more things I could think of so many more things. I could think of so many more things that money could be going to. It could be going to real mental health. It could be going paying me for my counseling services. It could be going to putting them in better housing. It could be going to these men and women who have served and and and, and the VA's jacking them on their benefits. Or the people are jacking them on their benefits. But you're going to change a name. Just here alone is $6 million. So I don't know if, 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 if at least, is it six or 60? I don't know. It's just, it, I know it's six and it's million. Either way, you're looking at at least, at least 36, at least 36 to 50,000 or more million dollars for name changes that mean what? Because they were named after somebody from the Confederacy. Are you going to change then the schools? And uh, are you going to change the university and the parts and everything? Like in Wilmington, for instance. You got seven places that are named for the seven killers that murdered people in the Wilmington Massacre of 1898. Are you changing the names of that? You going to change the names of your universities there? You going to change the name of your parks there? And Fayetteville, you can do the same thing. If we're going to start name changing, are you going to change some of the some some of the names of these schools? Some names of these high schools? Are you going to start changing the names of every business that was named after somebody in the Confederacy? Are you going to start changing and this may seem weird you could fail. We're talking about bring a, being more diverse. Yes, some bullshit. You're not having real conversations of diversity. Get people together at the table and talk. And if they don't want to talk, fuck them. Those aren't the ones you want to talk to. I'm not going to try to hold people's hands and sing kumbaya with motherfuckers that, that, that disrespect me and don't think and think that just because I'm black, I'm ignorant. Bitch, I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you and I'm not scared of you. Remember, I mind fucked a damn FBI agent when I was when I was under a teen. Literally, I don't even think I was a teen. So what the fuck you gonna do for? Why should I even remotely feel inferior to you? And I was a kid. Miss me with that bullshit. That's why right now I might be one of the most logical people in this damn city that's willing to speak out because I have nobody backing me. 
And yet, I do have everybody backing me that needs to back me. I've been reminded of that since I've been sitting here. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> but yeah, I do care. I really do care because somebody needs to understand the real life of soldiers. You look at TV and you listen to other people who have taken advantage and they continue to take advantage. These churches have done nothing but take advantage of the military. These schools, you treat military brats. Most of a, 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 a military brat can go into any of these schools and right off the bat you get hate. Right off the bat there's a jealousy because there's a disconnect and it always makes it seem like it's something wrong with us. We're uppity. We're not uppity, we're just aware. We're just, you know, we start out brighter earlier. We are ex we are exposed to more things. That's something that you shouldn't get jealous about. Get to know us and learn from us. But don't use us. And that's what a motherfucking con will do. A con will get around you. I have so-called friends that don't think I don't know what they're doing. Like, you want to get around me and then you want me to fund your shit. Or you want me to sign off on something. Or you literally trying to like, act like you do what I do and you know damn well you don't. And then you got other people making it seem like I do the same thing. You were like, no, 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 no. Like 2022, I'll never forget. That would be one year. That and 2019. That and 2019. I will never forget. I will never forget the year that I ended up being told I got COVID, you know, on the night of, and I, and I got in, in ICU. The day Kobe died, the day Kobe died, and the night that Tyler, the creator, won the Grammy. I'm at Womack Army Hospital being told that I got a 50 chance or maybe a 60-40 and I'm on the 40 side chance of dying with an experimental drug that just came in that we don't know what it is and it's a good chance it could kill you but we don't know but if we don't give it to you you're gonna die that's what my options I didn't have time to call my prayer warriors. I don't have no prayer warriors. Because I am my prayer warrior. You know what I'm saying? I don't just wait on God. I got to get my prayer warriors to pray for me. And y'all got to pray for me. No. I handle my shit by myself. I always have. When my daddy died, I handled it by myself. When my mama died, I handled it by myself. But how can I handle ev how can I handle things by myself and then handle everybody else? Everybody always thinks that the peop the, pre the strongest people don't need help. And sometimes the strong people need do need help. But you don't help us. You always expect us to help you. And so I'm looking at these men and women who serve and you up here acting like you're fighting for them. You know, God damn well, you're not. They're fighting for you, but you're fighting for their money. You could give a shit because there are some other ways that money could be going into housing, better housing for them. That money could be going into giving them more pay. You're not raising their, you're not raising their pay rates. Why would you spend, why would the military, like for instance, when that, that, that time when I argued for about six months about the park, about getting just that piece of wood fixed on the park. And it took like literally like about six months of me arguing almost about every day about it. Six months, you could go to Lowe's and get a $40 board or less. But you got to wait for a record, uh, you, you got to wait, you got to request and go through all these changes and then turn around and pay a thousand or two thousand dollars for a little piece of plywood. Y'all are fucked up. Who makes these, these decisions? Nobody pays a thousand dollars for plywood. So where is that money going? Where is that money going? Thousand dollars for plywood. Where is that money going? You need to be looking at where is that money going in the military? Who's getting that? Who's getting that money? Who is getting that money? The fire trucks won't buy. Yeah, but who is getting that money? Because it's not the soldiers. $1,000 for plywood that you can get at Lowe's for 40 bucks. Who's getting that money? How are we in a crisis? How is America in debt? Because you're doing some crazy ass spending. On what? That's where we, that's where we need to look at that bottom line. Who's making this decision? Where it costs, where it would cost like five hundred dollars for a nail. Five hundred dollars for a nail that you can go and get at Walmart's or anywhere for what? 
what's a nail? I don't even know what a nail costs right now. A dollar? Fifty? I don't know. But that's my point. You have a thousand dollars for one piece of plywood. You got five hundred dollars for a nail. And now you got millions of dollars. Six, six to seventy million dollars going in for name changes. And you want to blame the military? No. You blame these lame-ass leaders. Many of them who have never even had a fight. They kissed enough ass and got where they needed to be. Or they got tired and they just went along with it. Or they just don't fucking care. You know, you always have those people who just don't fucking care. And they want power and control. But these men and women are fighting for their life. And their, and their spouses are at home fighting for their lives. And the children are now fighting for their lives. And everybody's fighting for their lives. And you just want to have parades and parties and, and ceremonies. Look at what we're doing for diversity. And it's just full of shit. And I'm looking at reality. But you're saying, I'm the demon. I'm the devil. So what, you want me to go like, you know, you want me to say, well, we just need to smoke some weed and everybody go green and it'll be okay. No, it won't. Oh, we just need to pray. We just need to pray. You need to go to church. What church? What church? Which one? The one ran by the pedophile? The one ran by the closet homosexuals? The one that's stealing the money? Which churches should we go to? Y'all don't want to fuck with me. And I'm not trying to fuck with you. But what I'm going to do, like I said, if I got to if I got to die today, I'm gonna stand on my I'm gonna stand all ten toes down and on the truth. If I got to fight for something, it's going to be the truth. I will not I will not fight for a lie. So if I die, I ain't gonna be dying for no lie. What exactly is the Christ consciousness? So many so-called Christians talk about Christ and you have no idea because you just want to be seen. You want to be a part of a group. You just want to go along with the flow and you'll be one of the first ones out there. We just changed the name from Fort Grant to Fort Liberty. Nobody ain't going to be saying that. I guarantee, I guarantee you, I guarantee you. That, 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 I guarantee you that at least 95, 95% 90, of the soldiers ain't going to, yeah, Fort, I mean, it's going to be a, like, nobody going to say that. Then you're going to have to change this. You have to change that. And again, when you go back to the history books, I'm looking at even like the folks like the Trooper Nickel or whoever, that how you going to change up your mess? These people are already confused. So you're going to wipe the history away. Because 20 or 30 years from now, people are not going to necessarily know if you do this, what Fort Bragg is or what people did. You know, the triple nickel, the triple nickel of uh, Fort Lip. Who's Fort Lip? Who's Fort Bragg? You don't get it. You didn't think this through. You just did it because somebody said, this is what we need to do to show them that we're trying to get along with all people. Because diversity is the new work word, the new woke word. But it's a word. It's not an action. If you're about diversity, show it in your walk. If you're about diversity, show it in your talk. Have better teachers. Have real preachers who just aren't prophet preachers. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe we shouldn't have preachers. Maybe all along we should just have teachers. Because your so-called Yeshua wasn't a preacher. He was a teacher. And by the way, Christ wasn't this name. It was a label like troublemaker. Because he went to the Pharisees and Sadducees saying, you fucked up. What did I do? Did the same thing. So now we go into Pesach season and Good Friday and Easter and everything coming up. And so, you know what, I guess, you know, then you want to come at me. You're going to come at me and crucify. You know what you're going to do? You're going to end up, you know, that firstborn thing. Lay a hair on my head. That's your firstborn that's dead. I'm telling you, don't play about me. Because I'm telling you right now, Pharaoh, don't do it to yourself. Do you love your daughter? Do you love your son? Do you love your wife? Do you love your man? Do you love your, I don't know. Do you love you?
If you truly believe in God, don't you think God protects God's own? The horn said yes. So at the end of the day, whose side do I stand on? I stand on the side of these men and women who I know for a fact. I know what they do. I've seen what they do. They can't show their tears to you, but they can show their tears to me. And I feel their tears. And I hear them. And when I go, you know, to Fort Fisher and I talk to these vets and stuff. Or when I go out here. Or when I go anywhere. It seems to be, it seems to, whatever this is, it seems to follow me. Like I said, uh, the oracle. Now, everybody's an oracle. And I think that's, I think that's really kind of funny how now everybody's an oracle on YouTube. Like for a minute, for a long time, you only had like the oracle matrix in me. And now all of a sudden you got 50,000 oracles on you. Everybody's an oracle. That's what you do. You find a buzzword and say, do that too. Oh, she's doing that. Do that too. She's doing it. Do that too, but you can't do me. Because you don't have my insight. You do it for profit. I do it for the people. I do it for my people. Because they matter. They matter to me. Army Emergency Relief has been there for me when no one was. When the, this town fleeced me several times. And the fact of the matter that these people want to come back in my face and try to fleece me again. Or the fact of the matter is some people, some fake friends and family want to come in my face. Are you sure you know me? Did you see my baby pictures with the balled up fist? You think I'm going to knock you the fuck out? There's a reason why I'm in seclusion. Because at all times, 24-7, 90% of the time, I'm waking up with, who the fuck do I need to fuck up today? And that is something I need to get out the way because, you know, it stops my blessings from, you know, it stops my glow up. And I know that's what you want me to do. You want me to die here in hell with you, but I can't. Why? Because I have a crew that literally, I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know, like, you know, maybe I got chipped. Maybe I got chipped December in 2020. Whatever it was, whatever it was, whatever the guy, whatever that January, whatever night, then, then the incident, the year, the day, the night that everything and the year that everything went to hell. Like I said, I'm in the hospital January 2019, but in the next month or so, the whole world shuts down. After me. Who knew? And yet, I haven't taken 50,000 vaccines. Because that one and done was enough for me. And as a nurse's kid, I said, no, nah, that's not how medicine works. That's not how medicine works. You're moving kind of slow. Are you friend of fun? Hello. Yeah, I do be paying attention to everything. Like, I'm paying attention to you that just parked right there. Are you waiting for somebody? I pay attention to everything. I pay attention to everything, everything, everything. The watchers are watching me, and I'm watching the watchers, and they're watchers watching the watchers. Or everybody's watching, everybody's watching, everybody's watching. But while you're watching, there's some people that's doing a whole bunch of crazy shit and crazy stuff. And I'm just trying to warn you guys that if you don't get your priorities right, if you really care about people, you better let them know because people are dying just like this or leaving out your life. A person, you know, like, you know, like, for instance, a, a lot of people are dead to me right now. I'm dead to a lot of people. And that's all fine and well and dandy. I'm not missing anybody, for the record. I'm not missing us. So I am not missing anybody. And I'm not trying to go around no crowds. And I wake up every day amazed at how I'm making it. Because I'm pulling off miracles every single day. But you know what? I'm supposed to because that's what real soldiers do. We don't make excuses. That's why while y'all are looking at porn, I'm watching Naked and Afraid for different reasons. And you watch, oh, naked. some of y'all are just horny as hell. I tell you, this feels like syphilis. This is a, you guys need to like really look up syphilis because this is this, 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 this energy, this sex and craziness. And that's what syphilis, untreated syphilis will make you go insane. Untreated anyway, I think I really do the same thing. 
But with all this sexing and sexing and, and all this, and I, I'm not, no, I don't know if they put it in the vat. I don't know what they did. All I just know is that I, I, I stand by that. That that is not how vaccines are supposed to work. You go, well, this is not hard. You know, bitch, I'm a nurse's kid. Come to my house and I give you the medical books I was reading when you were just reading Jack and Jill. Don't ever question me on my authority or my receipts of what I know. Because I know what I know, ho. The nerve of some ignorant ass motherfucker who wants to jump on something for clout. Or because some politician, some pre preacher told you. When I'm, I read shit, I, I read something you don't do. That's why some of you get trapped up in all your industry contracts. And then that label makes a fool out of you. And you can't get out. And before you get out, they kill you. They're waiting for you to die so they can get your insurance in, in insurance money. I keep telling you, the industry don't want you, motherfucker. The industry been wanting me. I don't want the industry. So that is a continuing, the never-ending fight. Me not going into an organization that I just don't give a damn about. Because I'm not going to do what they do. Yet they still farm off me feed off me like you don't think I don't see my creativity and you are going to pay me you will pay me you will pay me and we know why don't threaten me and we know why but back to my military folks I see you back there. I keep telling you, I got eagle eyes and I got eyes like flies. I don't like flies though. But whatever this is, sharpen me. Whatever they get, whatever, whatever that was that I made it, somehow I made it and I didn't die. But now at 67 years old, I can walk, you know, to, you know, I can, I, I, my, my healing properties are fast. I find that amazing. Even for me. You know, I can like not walk or like literally sprain or pull a ligament or something like that. And in a week, I'm okay. Or how I can turn around at, at, at 67 and do five or six laps and go up and down those steps at Hedrick Stadium. When, but you got people in their 20s. You got people in their teens that can't even get out of bed. Who are fine before they took, you know, 50,000 vaccines. Vaccines save lives. Uh, did they? Do the math. Y'all are surrounding me. What's going what the fuck is going on? I am like I am not tripping. But you know, you just I'm in a parking lot, you know, so people just don't pull up, you know, like what the Let me I'm uh, just barefooted. Made myself an easier target. What? 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 people want to watch made myself an easier target I know I need to stop I know mother I need to stop doing that she said I'm walking like my daddy again like a little badass rat uh see my pizza see my people at Brooklyn Pizza but nah, nah I got fish at house I'll probably get pizza tomorrow but uh see my military family all about I don't want to be somewhere honestly I don't want to be trying to find a signal we spent all this money for telephones we spent all this money and our phones don't work how about that we spent all this money and the phones don't work we spent all this money on 5g technology and it's the radiation it's not nature it's the radiation that's killing you what does radiation what does too much radiation do why don't you ask those nurses and those doctors when they stand behind when you're beginning your chemotherapy or or even just your you know breast or whatever whenever you begin the x-rays why don't you ask them what too much radiation will do why don't you ask them why they stand behind the shield because they deal with this every day every day so they know what radiation does but you're getting it every day in these towers every day Fort Bragg is getting that every day they're getting radiation every day. They're being radiated out the ass. And you have a government that's taking the money right out of their pockets. And you have them lying and really not supporting. And you have these things. You have them putting. And you. Oh, it's just so much stuff. It's so much stuff. And then people want to blame the military for your woes. You want to literally blame your soldiers. That is just stupid. You blame the people who. Hey. You 
blame the people who save you. And you forget that we have problems too. They have problems too. They have anxiety too. But yet they have to do what they do. They don't have time to to smoke a whole pound or or or, or become coke addicts or heroin addicts or shit like that. Because somebody's got to do be alert. Somebody's got to be alert, or we all be in the dirt. Y'all don't get it. You want a whole goddamn world high, and you don't. Y'all don't calculate shit. I'm just sick and tired of people who can't do math. I am just sick of it. I am sick of dumb people who think they're so goddamn bright, or they try to just pass, and they try to make everybody else feel like they're dumb. It's just stupid. It's just stupid stuff. You, it's common sense, and you all don't have. What happened to the common sense? Did the shot? Did they vaccinate all the common sense out your ass? So I'm just. This is my complaint. This is my protest. This is my sense. These men and women can't speak for themselves because they, they did sign a contract to protect the country. And we all know, again, they can't go to, if they go to, if they go to a psychiatrist or if they go to a therapist and they really tell that person what's on their mind many times, depending on if that psychiatrist or that therapist was raised by the books. Many of these doggone psychiatrists have not a clue what these soldiers go through. So how are you going to go to a psychiatrist or a, or a psychologist and you're coming from a book, you're coming from book knowledge. Bitch, you ain't been out there. You haven't seen somebody get their head blown off or their leg blown off or their whole platoon blown. You haven't been there. How dare you think you can read these soldiers from a book, from book knowledge? That's my problem. You be reading. You, you treat these people with shit from a book and not experience. You need to get experienced people. You need to get people who actually been there and done that, who can understand what they're going through and will have and, and will make them feel like they can talk about it without feeling like they're weak or there's something wrong with them. Because to feel remember we're supposed to be soldiers and i say we because you know what hell if you're a soldier's kid and both your parents are in the military you are a soldier you don't know where they go what they've been through but trust me you're a soldier too you're a soldier too just like people don't understand brats they think they know us but they i guess i'm supposed to be outside this is the sun's trying to get a little rainbow around it and that's another thing but we're not even gonna go there today because it's not even about that this agenda this agenda man you got everybody you, once again you got everybody if you got if you don't have the blacks and whites fighting each other if you don't have the hip-hop community fighting each other then you're gonna have the gay people and the straight people fighting each other it's all behind agenda it's all behind some shit that got you distracted it's all behind everything to keep your eyes off the prize that these people are lying right before your eyes and they're taking the money out of your pockets and this government is going down 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 to down to down to down to down and the main people who you should be helping out you're wrong but we're supposed to be quiet and act like we don't see it i see it every day and i feel it they can't say it because they're proud and they're magnificent and they do their, their jobs. And that's why I will always, whenever I go through those gates, I smile, they smile. I will always, there is a, a, a broke-ass rapper, a broke-ass actor. There's not a singer or rapper or a celebrity on this whole goddamn entire planet that means more to me than my military family. I said that and I meant it. None of you motherfuckers. You can wear a fake beret on TV, but it's not the real thing. There's something about the real thing that's sexy as shit. <laughs> Just sexy as shit. There's something sexy about a military man. And you women who want to just take all that money and have 50,000 babies on it, you know that, but it's like, you know, how are you adding to the pot? You're supposed to be a wife, not a trick. To the wives who are wives, I applaud you because I know it's not easy being a military. God knows it's not easy. And then you got all these trick hoes and shit like that. And man, you know, you got to take responsibility because we know a soldier can be a... Come on. I was That was one of the main reasons why I did not... I kept my husband on red a long time before we... And even then, it's like it almost didn't happen because he lied. He lied. Because I said, I do not do military people, man. You always got a wife or somebody on all, all, every base. No, nah, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. And yet it was. But he was a good man. 
with a lot of generational curses. And it was another man, you know, on top of that, a friend who actually was a preacher who said, baby, I think this is a good guy for you. Give him a chance. Give him, at least give him a chance. And I did. That was the best thing I ever did. We might have had some issues, as all marriages do. Uh, but that was still the best thing I ever did. And because of him, I'm able to eternally live as a military brat. So why would I dishonor him and my life by marrying some dumbass, broke-ass rapper or whatever for celebrity clout? When none of these motherfuckers can, can none of them, they're not my mission. They're not my vision. I have a more val uh, more valid vision. I am not here to raise up entertainment. I mean, I do what I do through our show, So School Cafe. So I do it my way. But at the same time, why I do my entertainment is because you're not going to get the good music on terrestrial radio. You're not. You're going to get what they give you. But you're not going to get the good stuff. And you're never going to get the message that I give you. And that's why, you know, I ask you, like, don't, okay, you want to support something, support me. I am Val Jones at gmail.com. Go to my PayPal. I am Val Jones at gmail. You can even get sponsorships. I'm not going to do advertisements. You can even get sponsorships on my show. Because I'm not going to let anybody, I'm not going to let anybody, you know, tell me who, who or not to play. You're never going to hear Beyonce or JC on my show or shit like that. Because, you know, what for? What for? You're not going to hear some whack ass. Drake house or Uzi Vert house or some bullshit house like oh no you want to hear a real house on my show how about that because a house is a home and a home is a house and I keep mine real like like my people I like my people real my hair is real I don't need nobody doing my hair I've gotten more compliments on my hair young and old young I know right young and old all colors they love my hair so why would I let anybody I can do so. I bet you could do something to my hair, but everybody likes my hair like this. So I'm getting complimented by the people who I want to get complimented by. I mean, I'm not even asked for compliments, but it's, I love it. I love your hair. So who am I trying to impress other than the real people? I'm not trying to impress people that, who don't mean anything for me. I could push, I could give you more dirt. I, shit, you want the gossip and the tea. I could give you more dirt on the celebrities, but that's just not my vision or my mission right now. I have a bigger priority, and that is my military family because I know. That's right. You say, baby, so you, that's right. That's all right. That's right. That's what I'm going to, man, at my age, should I be taking karate? I might, I might check this out. I might check this out. Because self-defense is good. Self-defense is good. We're preparing. What we're preparing? Preparing for some. We're preparing for survival. I know. We're preparing for survival. And we're preparing how to survive on our own. You need to learn how to save yourself. You can't keep expecting everybody to save you. Especially a government who is lying to you again. You're spending money on stuff that makes no sense. Makes no sense. And the stuff that makes sense, you're ignoring. And you don't want to hear. And you want to shut down. That says something. You want to shut down the things that make sense. You want to take away all the farmlands from all the black farmers. You don't want the farmers to grow their own food. You want to buy up all the farmlands and push fake food and GMO on us. When farming is our life, you still owe us 40 acres and a mule, but fuck that now. My price is up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. I want a, I, I want a hundred acres, a mule, and a full tank of gas and a brand new car of my choice. I don't need a Hummer. I'll take another one of these. See priority and a house by the base inside these gates on apartment because wherever I be, I want to be around my family because you know what? I know if I'm around them, I will always know when shit's going down. So Val say, Val, well, we think you might be too close. You need to move where? Move where? Move where?
This is my twin flame for the most part. Move where? I'm exactly right where I need to be for what's going on right now. And at a time like this, you want to be around people who are ready. Not who just going to sit, watch the news, smoke 50,000 blunts, drink a whole bunch of brews, and speculate, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Bitch, get ready. And stop trying to dick everybody down. People know who I'm talking to. It's nothing like having somebody, well, girl, all you need, what I need ain't you. Y'all are simple-minded motherfuckers. Sorry, mother. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry at all. My daddy said, no, 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 baby girl, you're, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're my baby girl. No, 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 let, the, let these hoes know, male and female. It ain't that show. Who the fuck you think I am? I don't do scrubs. If you're not bringing as much to the plate as I got, then what the fuck? Logic and math in 2023. In 2023, it's all about me. I'm doing the, the support. Last year's support is not this year's support. And I'm not supporting anybody that's not supporting me because it's about math. So when I'm up here fighting, you know, for my team, for my military, it's because they do fight for me. And I understand that. Come on. You don't like being in the car, do you? Okay. We're going to wrap this up. But that's all I had to say. Priorities and money. Priorities and money. You better make it work. Because in 2023, you're going to see a lot of stuff happen. That if you put your money in the wrong places and the wrong people. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people are going to be coming to some Jesus meetings. I'm seeing you and I hope you're just sitting there and just watching me or you, or you better be prepared or whatever. But I tell you what. I know. I need to stop doing sometimes what I do. I flex for the heck of it. But uh, that's it. They're watching me. I'm watching them. You watching me? I'm watching you too. But at least I'm standing 10 toes down on the truth. Are you standing on a lie? Or a liar's alibi? And wonder why your pie in the sky done turned into some bullshit? I robot, we are not. And this ain't no movie. And there ain't no Will Smith. And in my case, I might tell the bots who are not bots. I'll tell the drones, protect home. Protect what's important to you. Protect what matters. Protect who protects you. Protect your national treasure, which is you. Protect your family. Protect those who love, who really do for you. Make your priorities count. Make your money count. Everything's going up. Food is going up. Rents going up, evictions are going up, prices are going up, congressmen salaries are going up, yet military salaries, military salaries, the soldiers' salaries are not. Just to make that clear. So when you say, Oh, the money's going to the military, it's not. Not to the ones who's supposed to go to. But we have a name change. And that's supposed to do what? And when you start taking name changes then are we going to change all the names in this country? All of them means all of them. Google the word all. There used to be a time when we had dictionaries. I don't know if you know what a dictionary is. I think you know what a pictionary is. So Google the word all and see what that means again. Are you going to change all the names of things? that were named after confederate soldiers or whatever I don't give a fuck about that as much as going meeting at a real table of why things are the way they are and why people are the way they are and how can we come may all the good white people and the good black people who know how to work together and get past their differences and find their commonalities learn how to do that oh gee wow that will be called the military 
they do that every day and like i said i'm not i'm not i'm not you know crazy to not think that there's some racist ass motherfuckers in the military there's some probably some racist ass cops right now that would love to take me out but bitch know this you will be taken out too god ain't playing with you why you think i'm standing here doing what i do on a holy week a holy month of that hello 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 little Looking like she Jesus Christ. Please don't put that label on me, all right? There's so many others who claim that walk. All they do is talk. I'm walking in the belly of the beast. I'm walking in the lion's den. I'm watching the watchers watch me. The real matrix. The real oracle. We need to break this matrix down. Because this matrix is a lot. Oh, wait, I'm doing that. You like what you see. All right, I'm getting ready to go home now. I know this like she is God. She is just so It's worse than guarding the president's daughter. <laughs> it is like guarding the president's daughter. Uh, uh, my guys be on it though. God bless them. I love you guys. <laughs> I said what I had to say. But make it count, okay? Don't let them lie to you. Where is this going to stop? Where is this going to stop? I'm not impressed. You want to impress me? Protest these names. Well, no, don't do that. I mean, because then somebody's going to take it the wrong way and then it's going to go over. But I'm just saying, make you guys talk about this stuff. Because I'm telling you, nobody at Fort Bragg, the real soldiers, I do not give a good goddamn about it being from Fort Bragg to Fort Liberty. But that's lots of money that could be going in their pockets. That's lots of money that could be going to their, these kids. Kids that don't have to knock on my door looking for food because their parents can't give them any. I mean, I'm just saying, this could be money going to mental health, going to like, you could be paying me putting me up so I can actually help them since you got rid of one of the best counselors and therapists you could be paying me put me in an office I literally am worthy hey. you know I literally am a real one but no you don't do that because you don't want them to be healthy and I'm telling you you really do want these soldiers to be mentally healthy because when they snap I robot ain't no movie dog. And you gonna be right in the middle of it. I robot, Resident Evil, all those movies. All of them. But hey, it's all an illusion. You remember that when you get kicked out of your house, it's all an illusion. And you remember that when you need rescuing and you wanted to find the very people that were going to rescue you. You remember that just make it